So what I'm doing is I'm going to start right here next to the wig so I can generate a good cut. You don't have to go crazy hard, but I do want to get away from this pole. When I get out there, I'm going to flatten the board out so I start gliding. Hey, what's up everyone? Sean Murray here and today we're going to have some fun doing some ollies. Ollies, that term is taken from skateboarding and that's where they're just riding on flat ground and they pop the tail and get themselves into the air. And I coach a lot of people and they say, ah, I haven't figured out the ollie and they kind of just skip it. But it's actually a fun trick and it's part of the, the trick that I consider filling in the blanks because a lot of people, they just end up jumping the wake and then they taxi back. And then they don't jump toe side either. So there's so many different things that you can do in riding that aren't necessarily a wake jump, such as that little fly. So I'm gonna explain how the ollie works and how you can add it to your bag of tricks. Here comes the big whip. So my board has a bottom that allows me to do this. Gotta be careful, I can get way out of sight. I'm gonna ollie up and over the wake. Yeah. Today's edit is brought to you by BB Talking. That's actually this uh, communication system that I really use a lot for coaching because I can talk to my riders right away, like right when they need to hear it. I'm not gonna tell them like as they're jumping the wake, but I can communicate to them so they can explain, so I can explain some things and really give them a good understanding. So right now the boat speeds at 20 miles an hour. My rope length is about 60 feet. And you can learn the ollie at a slower speed. The slower you go, the softer the water gets, but that's why it helps to cut out. So when you're first learning this, you can slow the speed down about 18 miles an hour, maybe 18 and a half. So the ollie is just the beginning of adding some other tricks, because you can actually take the ollie, do a re-entry ollie, take it bigger, maybe a re-entry 180, switch, and so on. So there's a lot of different places you can do tricks behind the boat. So here's how the ollie works. When I'm riding, my board is creating this long, shallow ditch. It's probably going about two inches into the water. And that all has to do with the speed of the boat, the speed of my board, obviously, my weight, the size of the board, but it all pretty much remains constant. That has to do a lot with my weight distribution. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my own ramp by pushing down on the tail. And you can do an ollie just standing still. But the way I like people to learn it is to actually cut outside the wake for two reasons. One, I'm gonna generate speed. The faster I go, the more snap I'm gonna get. But it also gets me away from the direct pull. Because back here, the rope is pulling more directly. So I can actually cut out and watch the rope just kind of lets up a little bit. So notice that. So I'm gonna do the ollie outside the wake away from the direct pull. So you kind of want to give yourself a nice cut. If you haven't watched my videos on how to generate good power with good body position, go back and watch some of those things like the three fundamentals of wakeboarding, load and release, because people cut hard and they do this. That's not necessary. It feels like you're cutting hard, but if I'm stacked up, leaning against the line, I generate a lot of power, I get out to here, and then I pop the ollie. So here's how that works. When I put all of my weight onto the tail, I am creating my own ramp that the board is riding up and out of the water because when I put my weight on the tail, I can get the board steeper and deeper than it is right now. But I'm not gonna do it a long, slow push. My board isn't changing anything just because I'm standing back. But if I push down really quickly, the board goes probably about three inches, maybe four inches down, and then it rides up and out of the water. So, biggest common mistake I see people do, they try to lift the board up. It is not lifting the board up. You want to make sure that you are pushing down on the tail. That allows you to get the board deep and deep into the water, and it actually rides up and out the, your own ramp that you just created. Here's some rollers, tiny ollie, big air. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start right here next to the wake so I can generate a good cut. You don't have to go crazy hard, but I do want to get away from this pole. 
when I get out there, I'm going to flatten the board out so I start gliding. Don't wait too long, otherwise the line tension comes back and you're going to do it under too much tension. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my weight back and I'm going to do a one-footed hop. So I'm literally just going back and just pushing down on one foot. So here comes my cut, glide, weights back here, tiny hop. You want to make sure that you land on the tail. Push, land on the tail. What happens? One of the most common mistakes after, when, number one, people try to lift the board. The other thing that they don't realize is when you push on the tail, the nose doesn't get pushed up. They push on the tail and the board then takes the nose dive. Now, if you ever saw the instructional series I did years ago on VHS, I went out as weekend Wally with the helmet, the orange life jacket, and I intensely took a nose dive. I'm not doing that today. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you take off on the tail and land on the tail. If you're having trouble with getting that sensation, here's a little bit of a hack. We're gonna do a three one-footed bounce. So three times, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go bounce, 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 and hop. So you can start to feel the energy of the board. So we're gonna hop it, and then tail. If you don't do exactly three, that's okay. Bounce, 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 push. Land soft, land gently. Mistake on landings people make is they land and they disconnect here. So when you're first learning the ollie, don't go for big air. It's not about air, it's about learning the technique and the feeling. So nice and wide. Quick shift of the weight and push on the tail, soft landing. Just a small one at first. Cut out wide, glide, one foot at hop, land soft. It is all about creating your own ramp. Too often I see people come out and they're pushing like they're trying to get the board. It's not going to do that. It's a quick push. So it's rolling your weight to the tail and then pop. And then you can start to go higher and then lift the board up to get even more clearance. Just make sure that you land more tail heavy than flat on the board. Eventually you can take your ollie to jump over rollers. When the boat turns around or you see rollers that are normally like, oh man, there's another boat out here. That's their opportunity, use it. So to add a little bit of fun, a little bit of style, go one-handed, keeping the handle still. Drop one hand, ollie, and everything up here should be still. Be careful to not land disconnected. Whenever you're doing these things, go for small at first. It's not about big air. Small at first, just a little tiny one, and then a bigger one. Cliff notes version of the re-entry air. Start about two thirds up the wake, do a tiny ollie and cut away. Starting about two thirds up the wake, tiny ollie, cut away. The mistake people make on these is they try to ollie and they go inside the wake. You don't want to do that. When you want to add your carb to it, you want to make sure that you're not taking too much momentum in. The tiny carb as you change your edge, off the tail. So when you're ready to take your ollie to the next level, get ready for the ollie off the roller. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick out about the second or third one. I'm gonna take my eyes on it. I'm gonna cut away from the wake, flatten out, get low, tiny ollie. Gives you a lot of air. You can do it with one hand, two hands, but it's really important that you pick out the one you want before you get there. Your body will naturally ride up and over the other ones. And when you get to that one that you want to ollie, do not change your edge. Don't jump off your toes. Don't jump off your heels. Go for a tiny, tiny ollie. This is how much effort I just put into going off of that roller. It was this much of an ollie. Yet, adding on top of that, that roller, that's where all that air comes from. So a couple different versions of the ollie. 180s, there's a switch jump. Switch back side 180. All the way back at 180. Re entry 180. Switch. Now I'm going to Ollie. This one's a little bit, this one's a little sketchy. I'm going to try to Ollie over the wake and not use it. Got to load, pop now, up, and out.
In, that's an outside in all to inside out. Ooh, that was close. If you have trouble where you feel like you're stuck on the water, you can even go on land and practice a one-footed hop. Where you see how shifting your weight over one foot and just hopping on that foot is where the ollie comes from. Cutting out, my weight's back here. You don't have to stay back like this, but I'm exaggerating so you can see it. Coming back here and it's a one-footed hop. I'm pushing the tail down. So don't think so much about your feet and that. Think of your board as an extension of you. I am pushing the tail down. Think about getting that tail steep and deep. Well, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, tricks you want to learn, or let me know how this, the Yali is going for you, feel free to put those below. If you don't already subscribe, maybe consider doing that. But even more importantly, I always appreciate it when you guys like, and especially when you share it, because more people can go out and have a good time. I well, encourage you guys, get outside, be active, get out on the water with your family and your friends. Oh yeah, and I gotta tell you, hit that notification bell, because then you know when videos are going live. No matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace! There's a fun, fun froggy air. Frog. It's really not called that, but... <laughs> Heelside frog air. I just made that up. No, that's not. That's not.